Andy Strong here from Fundamentally Fit for all of your health, fitness and nutritional needs. Now today I would like to talk to you about Body Mass Index or BMI. This is a topic that comes up all of the time, whether it is with my existing clients, my new clients, or people that I meet when I'm out presenting. Everybody wants to know if this is still a useful measure, what are the big drawbacks, and how can you use it to greater effect to measure your own progress? So without further ado, I'm gonna talk you through BMI today, and I'm also gonna give you some other useful ways you can measure your own progress as well. So Body Mass Index takes your age, your height, and your current weight, and it allocates you a score. And you can then use this score to see where you fall based on the uh, uh, based on the age range for where you currently lie so for example if you were to come in the under 20 under 25 points category you would be classed as a healthy weight for your age if you were to be between the 25 and 30 category then you would be in the overweight range if you were to fall between 30 and 35 you would be in the obese grade one if you were to be between 35 and 40 you would be in the obese grade two and then if you were to be 45 30 sorry 40 to 45 then you would be in the obese grade three now they recently added another top level category which is the 50 plus bmi range and unfortunately this is known as the super morbidly obese range now i've had several clients that have come to me that have worked uh, that started in this range and we quickly moved them out of it but needless to say this is the highest risk of premature death and it will have major impacts on your uh, health moving forward and if you do need help i do strongly recommend recommend that you come and see myself or you seek help from your doctor as soon as possible. Now that being said BMI is not a faultless system uh, but some of the ways that I use it to great effect with my clients are as follows. Um, if I have a client that comes to me and let's say for example they are in the obese grade one range and they need to lose a total of three stone to be a healthy body mass index. Um, we can look when we look at the stats that they need to lose let's say 12 pounds to be out of the obese range and into the overweight range. This this gives a really useful stepping stone for that client to work towards that doesn't feel as insurmountable as the total weight loss being three stone. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh wow, I'm gonna go from being obese to overweight, that's not very motivating, but the reality is that is a significant step forward for that individual and it is a permanent mark in the sand that says they have improved the quality and the future outlook of their health. So for this reason, BMI is really useful. Some of the drawbacks of BMI include the fact that it doesn't uh, take into consideration the weight of muscle. Uh, it, it just takes into consideration total weight. Now, if we were to take for example a rugby player they're going to be carrying a lot of lean muscle which is going to weigh a lot more than fat they could have a very low body fat percentage but a very high total weight because of their muscle mass this means they might be in an obese range uh, technically based on BMI score but ultimately they are very healthy very fit athletic individuals so this is one of the ways in which BMI is not faultless um, but it is still a useful measure for the general population in most situations now there are a couple of other ways you can measure your progress and sometimes I use these with clients uh, one is measuring your waist circumference so for men 102 centimeters or 40 inches is a good measure and if you're above this uh, then you do need to start reducing your weight because it's going to have a serious impact on your future health uh, for women that would be 88 centimeters and greater than 34.5 inches so again these give you an indication if you're around this area it's time to start reducing it and if you're above then i do strongly recommend that it's time to look at changing your lifestyle to lose some weight we can also and more importantly look at body fat percentages as well because if we look at our rugby player who's carrying a lot of lean muscle they will have a lower body fat percentage uh, now individuals with body fat uh, for men above 25 percent do need to start reducing that down to the below 25% mark for, for optimal health. And for women, if your body fat percentage is creeping up above 32%, then again, it is time to start reducing that. I use a collection of these different methods with my clients, and that means that we've got different ways of measuring their progress in different areas. But BMI remains a useful uh, way of measuring people's progress. It isn't faultless, but it does give you a good starting point, and it does give you something to measure against. Uh, I hope Hope you found this useful if you have any more questions on bmi uh, pop over to fundamentallyfit.co.uk you can pop me an email or pop a comment down below and i'll be happy to answer them if you need some help with your health fitness or any of your nutritional needs then please get in touch i'd be happy to help until next time i'm andy strong helping you to eat smart train smart stay fundamentally fit i will see you in another training session or a video very soon